I enjoyed a lot of what I heard here. I just didn't like a lot of the drama that this thing served up because it just doesn't feel all that relevant. I'm feeling a light to decent six on this thing, but that's just my opinion. I don't love Kanye and Jay-Z as personalities, you know? And maybe that's partially why I'm not on board with this album. I'm kind of feeling a strong five to a light six on this, on the fence had really high moments and really low moments for me. This album, in a word, is incredibly middle brow. I'm feeling a light to decent five on Yeezus. It's just that after having been toyed with, I was given an album that I thought was really great. Can't really say that that happened in, in this case. <coughs> I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this thing. It still does have a rough aesthetic to it, but now it doesn't feel like it's kind of impeding the, the success of these songs to actually get their musical, their rhythmic, and their lyrical ideas across effectively. If I could take all the experience I have now, take this record, bring it back to 2016, rescore it, and place it somewhere on my year-end list, I'd have to say I'd feel maybe like a decent to strong eight on this and probably throw it somewhere in my top 15 of 2016. Every song builds on the next to create this overwhelming, mind-altering, and strangely beautiful vibe. I truly feel like Kanye and Cuddy put one another artistically to the test on this thing, with an amazing mix of emotions, sound, and genres, all of which are super vivid, just crashing into one another in this violently beautiful display. It's like the cosmos imploding and reality melting and the, the matrix glitching. And I'm also super impressed with how forward-thinking, difficult to pin down, and futuristic this album feels too. I am legit feeling a strong 9 to a 10 on this thing. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think of that? Hey, hey, what do you, what do you, is this, is this exciting to you? Is this, does this interest you at all? <laughs> well, I like it. I like it a lot. I would love to hear a longer, more sensibly structured project with better songwriting. Less skeletal instrumentals, too. I mean, for a Christian album, this thing, again, is not very Christ-like, nor is it very album-like. I'm feeling a strong four to a light five on this one. People think that it starts strong, it finishes super weak. The concept, at best, is spotty. And that is partially made up for with solid features, extravagant, amazing, high-quality instrumentals. But overall, in my opinion, to put this album in a word, overrated. I am feeling a strong five to a light six on this thing. And while it's not a perfect LP, it's not my favorite LP, I am enthusiastic to see Kanye at least reach a point of creative stability and focus once again. And I'm also hoping this leads to at least some semblance of a uh, personal focus and stability uh, for, for my own sanity when it comes to the next album rollout at some point. I'm feeling a light to decent seven on this record. That is when he can actually gather the strength to write about it clearly, uh, you know, when he's not just like going through the motions of uh, a non-verse. As far as a rating on this thing, I, I really honestly have no idea. I'm kind of feeling uh, there are some cool ideas here, but I mostly feel like a voyeur at this point looking at something that is very much in progress while also watching one of the darkest times of somebody's personal life that I'm not really sure that I want access to out of 10. That was previously Kanye's shortest, messiest, most unhinged and crappy record yet, and somehow this surpassed it. And, at least in my mind, has achieved the status uh, of being Kanye's worst album.